Go ahead, keep rolling them. Oh my God! Reel them in, reel them in. You got a pompano. Oh, ho, ho, ho. stop, stop. Bobble Pier. Still not open yet. The damage in the last hurricane. But we are on the beach. And by we, I mean me. Hey folks, John with AJ Outdoors. And the A in AJ Outdoors, Audrey Ann Andrzejewski, my better half, who has turned into a beach bum. Years ago, we weren't too uh, fond of beach. But now, we're liking it. Problem this weekend is Sharkathon. We're not fishing Sharkathon. Some friends of ours are, but um, it looks real crowded to find a spot to set up to fish. So we're gonna drive for a little bit along the beach here and see if we can find somewhere to set up. So these first two rigs, Audrey's taking hers out. You can see there's a uh, pompano rig on it. So it has two, I'll show you the one I'm setting up right now. It's gonna be the exact same rig. But we're fishing with uh, fish bites, shrimp fish bites. So these are mainly our bait rods, right? We're gonna hopefully get some whiting, uh, possibly ladyfish, something like that to use for bait. For the bigger rods, which is that rod there and the rod in the very end over there are the bigger rods. And we'll throw some cut bait out, right? When we get some bait, hopefully. And, uh, Try to get some reds, red, whatever. Some big fish that wants to eat. There's something in the water over there. That was weird. There's water. These are the best conditions. See, I don't live down here, right? So I got travel a little ways to get here. These are honestly the best conditions I've ever seen down here as far as the waves and everything. So beautiful. Very glad to be here right now. And so today's Thursday. Tomorrow starts the Sharkathon. We're not in it. Stanley Orchard is. But it's supposed to be like this again tomorrow. Which means tomorrow we'll have nice weather again. I gotta put some bait on there. So what am I using? So you can see my the double hook set up, bought it. I got a smaller weight than I usually I don't have a spider weight on there because the the current so nice right now it's like perfect for lighter weights which helps you detect the bite so this is a shrimp fish bite that we're using they come in all different colors right you just stick that on the hook and that's all it takes you'll definitely catch whiting yes you have a chance to catch hard heads and uh red you can catch a red on this they'll bite it uh all kinds of fish pompano these rigs are called pompano rigs so that's what they're mainly designed for but we don't see a lot of pumping at least i don't down here i know some people catch them but i don't so let's go right put here. this guy in the water. these guys right here in front of me yeah a little mullet oh you know what those are little bitty whiting those are bait thieves right there i can tell because of the mark on their tail bait are in baby All right, Audrey's the first one on already. Keep her eye on mine. Hoping she got a little whiting. Hoping she's got a little whiting that we can use for cut bait. Ah, oh, that's why I didn't bring a cutting board. 
Oh well, my tailgate will work as a cutting board. I don't know if he's there. What? I don't know. Yeah. All right, bring him in. <laughs> bring him in, baby. Not taking any drag or anything, though. I see a fish in the thing right there. Was that? Yeah, that's your fish. Let's see what you got. There he is. Oh man, that's a nice whiting. That's a nice one. <laughs> All right. Well, we answered who's going to catch the first fish of the trip. And look, my top is empty. Oh yeah. So you got wrong. The first time I missed it. Yep. It's all right, you got this guy. So as you've seen in uh, almost all of our beach fishing trips, these whiting are ah, slippery <laughs> and prevalent down here. So you can come down here and they're good eating. So if you want to fill a fish cooler for a fish fry, that is not a bad fish to fill the fish cooler with. This guy is gonna become bait. I had to get the slime off my hand. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> First kill. fish. I know. I First already said fish. it. Every time. All right. Go slay another one. I'll cut that one up. So your rod gets to go out first with cut bait. Wow. What an epic event. Nice little wide and Audrey's first fish of the trip, the first fish. He's gonna become cut bait right now. Cut bait out on that rod that might be getting hit too. Or we crossed it. I think you might be crossed that rod. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Go ahead and keep rolling him. Oh my God. Reel him in, reel him in. You got a pompano. Oh, 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 stop, stop, stop. That is the first pompano I've ever seen. No, no, hold your line a little bit tight. There. First pompano. These are supposed to be one of the best eating fish <laughs> in the water, and there's no requirements here as far as size and all that stuff. So. He had a little more oomph to him. Audrey got a pompano. <laughs> Ow. What do you want me to do? I gotta let go of him. Too slippery. All right. I gotta get that hook out of his mouth. Bro, keep this hook from impelling me. Hold the tip that way a little bit. There you go. All right. What can I hold you comfortably right there? Ah, dang. He was not getting off this hook. First African pompano. Or not African pompano, but pompano. All right, so here we go. Believe it or not, Audrey just caught a pompano. First pompano I've ever seen face to face. I've never caught one down here, so she's kicking butt and taking names. We're keeping that boy. That's gonna be eaten. You watch your mind? Okay, I gotta get your other one back out there. This guy's just going straight on ice. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? There's a fish right there in front of me. What is that? Can't tell what that is. What is that? See a little fish darting around in front of me? It's starting to get deeper now. It's going to be harder to see him. He's just standing right in front of me. I think he's a little whiting. 
catching up to him. Why are you swimming so funny, little guy? Oh, he, ooh, there goes a jellyfish, yowzer. He's uh, been chomped, half his tail is gone. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, he's still there. John had his first fish. Yep, still there. It is not big. It's going to be a little whitey, more than likely. But that's good. That makes good bait. Come on. Oh, now he's fighting. Not big, I don't think. What we got here, guys? I'm thinking small whiting, but it's gotten heavier the closer it gets. What is that? Oh no, that's a nice whiting. Yep, got me a nice whiting. Come on over here, whiting. Come on up. Big fish of the day. Hello? Big fish of the day. Ha ha ha! Gotcha! Come here, you. That, folks, is a really good whiting. So that shows us. We've seen all those small whiting in close. And so, ah, I took this rod and threw it a little deeper out there. And this is what we got. We got a nice size whiting. Best whiting of the day. Are you on already? Ah, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> See, so this is that whiting that I can decide to eat or use for cut bait. So he's going in the ice. Another whiting. That's a good size one too. <laughs> All right. Still think this one's bigger. Mine is still bigger. Oh, is it? Yeah, it is. I'm claiming the size. That's a good one though. That is a good one. I put my pole in and when I locked it, I was like, wait a minute, that was a tug. And I started to reel and it got real slack. So before you even got in, yeah, you need a new bait on this hook. Yeah, he was hooked before I got in. You got it. I'm going to throw him in a cooler. Welcome to day two of our trip. As you can see, I'm dubbing over this because the GoPro decided not to record any audio for certain clips. Uh, we'll keep that to a minimum, but we're gonna do a little bit here for content for you so you understand what's going on. Uh, Stanley, me and Audrey left that evening and after we left, Stanley and his crew showed up. They set up on the beach, they got their setup all done. And so then me and Audrey showed up this morning and now I'm gonna go over there and uh, just say good morning and introduce you to who's there. So at the back of the truck, you can see Stanley in red. The other gentleman is his father-in-law who had just moved down to uh, Pottery Island. A very nice house, you watch Stanley's videos. You've seen that already. In a minute here, Stanley's gonna recognize that I'm coming over. Uh, he realizes me as his favorite YouTuber. That's why he's so excited to see me this morning. And in another minute, from the left, we're going to see his brother pop into the screen. And here comes Peter Walter, typically known as the younger and much more handsome Walter boy. There is a third up in Wisconsin, but we're not talking about him because he's not in Texas. So they go on to tell me about their evening, how much fun they had, talking. Yes, and, and no sharks caught, but it didn't matter because the shark doesn't start until this morning. And so now they're getting ready to go up there and go full speed for sharks. So let's get on. 
just amazing how clear this water is. I'm not used to that. But I will say, not seeing the amount of bait fish in the surf today as we had seen yesterday. So, and we've been, we've had rods in for a minute, you know, and haven't got a hit yet. So I get the feeling, hey, but you know what? It's what I'm saying, it can turn on any time. Just see Stanley, he got the surfboard. He likes to paddle baits out. He doesn't like to mess with the kayak that a lot of these shark fishermen use out here on the beach. Uh, but look at the surf, the surf is perfect for him to paddle it out. Heck, you kayakers, comment below. How perfect is that surf? How easy would it be for you guys to get your baits out far in that surf today? It's just beautiful. We got an interloper on our, our territory here. He just came and got right in between Stanley and us. It's like, what the heck? No, that's Ben. So, Ben is now officially in one of our videos. He doesn't know it. And I'm going to have to play music okay. over that part. Hard hey, head. Ah, Ben's got a hard head. I thought I seen one of his rods getting tapped. And sure enough, he's got himself a little hard head. Yuck. That's the first one of those we've seen this trip. All right, Ben, you caught something though. He got here, he was here before us early, further down the beach, and got into a mess of pompano, so I'm jealous as shit. <laughs> gotcha! Oh, you see the birds out there. I can't zoom in because my hands are wet because I was just out in the water. But... You can see it. Look at that. That's just a little outside of our reach from here. But hopefully that stuff moves down this way for us. We will see. All right, back to the voiceover, but this was kind of exciting. You see folks moving around, dogs excited. Stanley brought something back from a sandbar out there that he caught. Keeping it in the water to keep it healthy so that they can do a live release. Has to get measurements. And this just happens to be his first shark of the trip. And the pup dog was making me nervous messing around with that thing. But all ended well. Pup was fine and the shark was released unharmed after they got their photos. There it is. A little black tip. So the first one, uh, you'll have to watch Stanley's video to see how many more get caught. So you down here to fish Sharkathon or just down here to hang out and do some fishing? No, I just came just for a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Did you fish already or? Yeah, I fished, I uh, got here like at 5 in the morning. I started fishing at 5 in the morning. Oh, shit. I got some, uh, some Spanish, some shark. Nice. Fish, not, shark like this. Not yeah, good. yeah. Uh, a lot of, a lot of uh, ladyfish, all those fish jumping out there. Lovely. Yeah, that's what we thought. One, one guy had a hook up on a ladyfish, but in close. Yesterday we caught a lot of whiting and stuff like that, but we're not catching nothing like that today. Ladyfish? Yeah, that's a good bait. That, that was a good bait. Yeah, definitely. Cool, cool. Well, awesome. Your name again? I'm Freddie. Freddie. I'm fishing for trophies. I... Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I follow your channel. Yeah, I've met so many good people. Just started fishing, you know, and just meeting YouTube and Instagram and trying to see good people. So, Absolutely. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you too, man. Right, and good luck. Good. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, there we go. All right, All right, man, take it easy. Finally got a hookup on day two. And so let's go ahead and just enjoy the tunes while I reel in a fish.
nice whiting for John. Good eats right there. Matter of fact, that one made fish tacos. <laughs> Stay till the end, you'll see some of the photos of the food and stuff like that too. All right, we got someone else hanging out with us for a minute. Ben, I'm driving down the beach, you know, Sharkathon's going on. So, you know, Captain Eric, Team Real Locos, Hooking Memories Guide Service. You know, we got the Twang Beer Sponsors, uh, LNF Distributing, Dos Equis and stuff. So, you know, guys, Dos I put on the tournaments oh, uh, here in Corpus. Shit. We donate to Cash for Kids. It's another sponsor. Oh, that's nice. So we've donated 5,000 over the last three years with my guard tournaments awesome, we put on man. live on Facebook, Catch and Release. That's freaking um, awesome. Yeah, I saw the sign, man, AJ, and I was like, hey, I'm a subscriber. I'm yeah, a YouTuber cool. too, you know? Cool, so it's like, yeah, I yeah. gotta stop by and say what's up to AJ. So what's your channel called? It's uh, Team Real Locals. Team Real Locals, okay. Yeah, you can see that set of shark jaws, guys, man, and uh, do alligator guards, sharks from the beach, uh, red fishing, sheep heads, a lot of how-to videos on how to make my leaders. Awesome. And uh, of course, you know, I do guide service, and, uh, and I put on those tournaments. Maybe we'll get you on the live stream one Monday evening. Yeah, yeah. Bobby more than million. We had Stanley Orchards over there with his family. Oh, okay. We, there's four of us. There's Grant up in Illinois and Steve uh, Hall and Ash is up in Michigan. We do a live stream rotating in from each channel. Um, oh, awesome. Yeah, I've done a few live streams with uh, Chris Flores, Muddy River Catfish. Okay, fishing. yeah. Yeah, I've, I've been fishing with him several times. Yeah. As a matter of fact, he came down here and fished with me with the whole He's family. out of New Mexico, right? Yes, he is. Yeah, yes, yeah. he is. So that's a great channel too. And then of course yeah, you is. got a hard life uh, bait and tackle. Yeah. Uh, Albert's channel, uh, which we just did his 10,000 subscriber giveaway, which was a free nice. shark trip with Albert and I. Nice. So that's uh, awesome. we had we had fun. We caught, a, caught one shark, lost about four. But the underwater videos, man, were sick in that. I mean, yeah. there's like 20, 30 little sharks swimming around that camera. All Pretty right. cool footage. Team Real Locals. Yeah. yeah All man. right, man. You guys check out the music. Yeah, absolutely. Take care of yourself, man. You too, man. Thanks for stopping by. All right, good morning last day here i want to show you guys where we're staying so we'll take a look at the the condo here so this is our back deck area so we're on the canal we've got a boat slip if we wanted to bring the boat not bad neighbors nice little sitting area out here so very nice let's go inside and take a look around there's audrey we're getting ready to get out of here so we're starting to clean stuff up but you got a nice recliner, comfortable. Long day on the beach, the back is sore. That's something to consider. Comfortable couch. TV works. Nice dining area. If you look at the decor, it's all very nice in here. It's very beachy. This place is only like maybe 10 minutes from where we were fishing on the beach. So it's well located. It's North Padre, right? We're just south of where you'd turn off for like packery to the jetties. Washer and dryer inside there. Kitchen's small, but for a long weekend, it's all you need. Everything works. The host has been real good with communicating. Now here, bathroom. We didn't bring the boat, so I didn't ask, but there's not a lot of parking. I mean, you have an assigned parking spot, but there's no, like, that I can see, there's no place to put a boat trailer, so would have to ask for that if you're going to bring a boat. There's an open field across. Maybe they park in there. I don't know. Bedroom's got a nice king size bed. It was comfortable. You know me. I got a jacked up back. So I do need a comfortable bed. And that was more than comfortable enough. TV in the bedroom. Everything worked. And again, just nice, stylish. So if you guys are interested in coming down here and you're looking for a place to stay one bedroom just a couple actually that couch folds out and there's an air mattress so if you got kiddos smaller ones that you can throw on a fold out couch or something this might be a perfect place for you too so I'll leave a link to the Airbnb uh, address for this place so you guys can check it out all right that's about it we're about done I'm ready to load up we had a great weekend a lot of fun fishing yesterday uh, we didn't get stuff much on camera. There might be some photos at the end of all this, but we didn't fish yesterday. Got Audrey down into uh, Port Aransas and checked out, you know, all the scenes down there and just had some drinks, different places, enjoyed some foods in different places. And so it was a great time. Overall, a great trip. Okay. Do me a favor. 
you're still watching that means you like this right go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below give me a thumbs up that really helps the analytics for the channel and there's a little bell down there if you click that it'll just let you know next time or each time I upload a new video I appreciate you all and thank you for watching now it's time for us to get back to San Antonio peace out